for a team with nine returners who started at least 14 games on a squad that went to overtime of the NEC championship game, there's reason for optimism for the FDU Knights. The whole core of the team is, you know, is virtually the same. It's just bits and bobs, like out wide. Uh, we have another center midfielders and a couple of strikers. So the, the base of the team's there, so we can just work on the outsides and hopefully get better as a team. FDU's leader with seven goals and four assists, Jack McVay, is back. So too are fellow midfielders Anders Veshansen and Anthony Moore, as well as keeper Jacob Lissick and his six shutouts, and defenders Jason Wells, Detenda Chimhanda, and Nicholas Walker, among others. We want to show that we have a good team because we really believe that, uh, that this team can uh, create something, something big. How big, that's, that would, the season will show, but uh, the, there's, there's pressure from myself and uh, uh, anything else we don't really care that much about what, what other people say. FDU's all-time wins leader, Seth Rowland, now in his 16th year, has high expectations for his team. Picked to finish second in the NEC in the preseason poll. Well, we've set the bar high. I mean, we have uh, almost everyone back and we brought in a good group of newcomers. So we're going after it and uh, we're challenging ourselves every day in practice and challenging ourselves with a tough non-conference schedule and then our difficult conference schedule. The defense is intact, which gave up an average of fewer than one goal a game last year. And the offense is mostly back, which as a unit tied for first in the NEC with 26 goals. Still, finding the back of the net early on is what players think will help get the team off to a fast start. I think the main thing would be scoring goals, uh, finishing our chances. We got a couple new forwards and we expect to see big things coming out of them. And um, a couple guys from last year, expecting them to step up, play, score some goals. Instead of having to start over like other teams that were hit hard by graduation, the Knights are trying to keep the momentum of last year going, a year that they finish one win shy of an NCAA tournament berth. It is number 14, Anthony Moore, who will be credited with the goal. Uh, Preseason, it's just the potential of can we develop from last year? Can the newcomers give us something new? And uh, first of all, the first preseason went well, so I think we have a lot of, um, like I said, potential coming in. With the season set to get underway on August 24th, with a home game against Stony Brook at 7 p.m., Roland likes what he sees so far. It's really a good group of guys, very spirited, uh, uh, hard-working, motivated group of guys. In Teaneck, Gavin Neville, FDUnights.com.